Welcome to Expat American. Here I am in Russia, not in Moscow. What is Russia like outside of Moscow? I'm here with my Russian wife, and we're going to go around this place and see what we see. Is Russia a cold, dark, scary place full of bad guys? Do you want to check it out or not? I do, but I'm not going to. You know why? We have a lot of things to do, right? Because we have a train to catch in a few hours. This is just a taste. Today, Sveta and I are randomly walking through a city we know almost nothing about, that we have never been to before. And we're just gonna see what we see. We don't really have time to make sure we go to all the right places. So this will be a good experiment to see what Russia randomly looks like. We have finally stepped outside of our hotel. And so this is the street right outside. So I'm getting to see a little bit of this new city, Voronish. And what do you think? one of their main streets. 14th largest city in Russia. One million people. So not only Moscow is fancy. So great, look at that architecture. And here too, just every building or every other building is interesting. And all these guys going all the way down here. I like these Christmas tree looking uh, forest trees you see in Russia, just in the city. It's not something that I have seen in America. We've got a pharmacy down there. That says Russian something bank. My wife is clothes shopping in there. And um, look at that outside seating because the weather is awesome for that restaurant so flower pots and they just opened their door and all their windows to the outside you would not see that in florida ever and people are waving at me maybe they know me we are just wandering through Voronish now not doing touristy things just looking at shops and walking on their tree-lined streets. It looks average and beautiful at the same time, like anywhere USA, like what any US city would hope to look like in the most normal way possible, but still beautiful. We've stepped into a mall, check out the random citizens in this city. Do they look like random citizens in your city? And in here, I think my wife is trying to find clothes. Yes, there she is. Cinnabon. So we're on a street with, ah, we're on a street without music. No, that doesn't make sense. We're on a street without cars. And it has music and people walking around everywhere. What is this old building here? I think I saw the roof from the hotel. I just looked on the map and this is the Puppet Theater. Beautiful. Nice little fountain. I should bring my children here.
walking under a construction roof for a building that's under construction. Do they do this in your city? There is a giant sports center. You got the big light sticking up from behind the trees and you can see the back of the stadium. Svetlana, what do you think of the weather today? It's nice. It's the best weather. It's not too hot. It's not cold. It's very, very comfortable weather. It's plus 26 Celsius and it's not humid. It's dry and nice. And it's a bit sunny also. It is sunny. So I'm an American. You're a Russian. You're my wife. I am confused though what you're telling me because we're in Russia. How can the weather be this way? What do you mean? Well, I thought Russia was dark and cold and frozen and snowy well, in all the time. In the winter time, yes, and not even everywhere because we have uh, southern parts of Russia and that's actually southern from Moscow. It's probably colder in Moscow right now, a little bit colder. I haven't looked at the temperature yet. Next, but you're going to tell me Russia has palm trees. It does. What? Russia has palm trees. So I love the architecture we've seen so far. I mean, not every building is beautiful, but I mean, these buildings are mostly beautiful, I would say. These especially. So you got the tree-lined streets and the different colored European style, I would say, buildings. And of course, people walking around us. How do these people compare to people in your city? Look, kids are playing, there is a playground and people are relaxing over there because it's Friday night. Uh -huh. Um, so why it's called Matryoshka? Because the lady just explained that if you go up on the bridge and you will stay on the bridge, you can see the building. This building will be in the shape of Matryoshka. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sveta, there appears to be happy people enjoying themselves everywhere here. Yes. Are you surprised? Well, still a little bit. Very happily surprised. Is that a wedding over there? No, it's just a festival and they're like doing all kinds of folk music and I think they are. But it's really clean. It's like so clean. The streets. It's like Matryoshka, but like uh, the spaceship type of Matryoshka. In this instance, I'm not super impressed because I only see the top of the Matryoshka's head like it's hidden and the rest is in the inside building. the building. But I liked it when we were inside the Matryoshka. What, Svetlana? Russia has trash cans. What? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Darling, I've brought you to, I believe, according to my research, the most famous church in this city. So we're going to try and see it now. And since you're Russian, tell me, what's that big statue over your head? Yes, I am Russian. That's my first time in this city. So I have no idea. I'll allow that. Look at this architecture. It's actually said on this piece of architecture, it said Glory of Soviet Science. On the statue? It's written on the statue. Yeah, I can see the letters from here. I like the building beside it too, the, yeah, the it's like a steeples. Castle. Yeah. Sveta has nothing to cover her head, and it's tradition to cover your head for entering an Orthodox church at least. Um, so I'm going to jog on up here and see if I can look at some of the service. Uh, 
All right, it says no photography inside, so I can't film anything inside, but I'll leave a link to the inside of an Orthodox church that I went to with Sveta and Kristoff and Maxime very recently. It's a short, so it's only, it's less than a minute long. And uh, you should definitely check it out if you are unfamiliar with the insides of an Orthodox service, an Orthodox church. It's still a bummer. I wanted to film the inside so you could see it because it really is beautiful. But, um, you know, I, I understand it's a church service, so you have to be respectful of that. And maybe it's their policy to have actual serious Christians trafficking the place as opposed to just tourists, which also makes sense. Um, and we wanted to definitely see this site because usually the Orthodox Church is the center of town in a Russian city. And also we're Christians, so we thought it would be cool to, to see a church. So we're trying to find the river in this city and we're on a downward slope. So I think we're definitely headed in the right direction. Uh, do you know the name of the river, Sveta? No, I don't remember. I don't know either. Sveta and I just got two drinks at a tiny market. Russia has tiny markets, just like your city, in case you were wondering. And a man that had a bunch of groceries in front of us in line let us go in front of him. A Russian man. How can that be? Are Russians nice? And on top of that, I, don't, I won't say exactly what type of Russian man he is. But you can guess, the Western media would consider him the worst type of Russian man. I can't say because there are certain words I've learned I should not say on this channel if I want people to watch my videos. Look at that. Russia has gas stations. What is happening with Sveta and I right now is we are on a business trip. And you know how it is when you're on a business trip. You go to all these cities, but you don't really have time to see them. Uh, so that's why this video is just a taste of Veronish. And if you want to see more of this trip, you can go to the playlist for it. I'll put it on the screen. And you can see the transportation we use to get here. And you can also see our hotel and some of the conference and what that was like. Construction work in Russia. There's people fishing down below. We have come to the river and my smart wife has figured out the name of the river that runs through Voronish. What is it, darling? It's River Voronish. The Voronish River. So here we are. And seriously, I think it's really cool that we're here and we've gotten to see a bit of this city. Because um, I get comments once a day from people who are trying to be helpful that tell me that Moscow is not Russia and we live in Moscow. And so now we've gotten to see and show a city that's not in Moscow. And I'm happy to see that it is very nice. Look at that building. It's like a piece of art. The, uh, the wood railing on the balconies. These buildings along this main street are beautiful. Definitely St. Petersburg style. I would say European style. Notarus, that says, which means notary. So Russia notarizes things as well. It's outside summer seating for restaurants. Oh, wow. A car alarm, a bus. Look at that, some sort of monument there. Russia has car alarms too. 
There's some sort of cafe with seating. People enjoying their balcony. Adult swings off the main street just because. This hotel right here is just one in a series of hotel videos we've done on this channel. I'll leave the links below if you want to see a more village family type of hotel and compare it to this one. It's really cool, the uh, ping pong and there's table chests up here if you bring your own pieces and just people everywhere hanging out enjoying the weather to me it looks like honestly a fantasy version of America all right so what do you think of our quick tour of Voronish Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and click the box to see what happens next. People are the world's greatest resource. And right now the West has created a situation where the best people want to come here. Welcome again to Expat American. It's not again if it's the first time. Be ready to try to talk loud. You can rub their nose on it. Oh, oh and I was rolling for that one. <laughs> uh. You have seen them in Sochi? I know, I'm just doing it for the video, darling. Oh, okay. Have I answered this question already? Come with us and find out. 